Good to see you, my friend. I'm meteorologist Dave Schwartz right here on Network Weather. A shout out to one of our biggest fans, Tommy Lee Walker. Morning man at WRWD Poughkeepsie. Country music in the Hudson Valley. Good to have you along, my friend. Today's weather word, radar. Radar, actually an acronym. It stands for radio detection and ranging. The military got started using this radar thing. It's, it's like radio waves. They're trying to figure out how can we use these for communication or finding stuff like enemy aircraft, ships, following our own aircraft and ships. Ships, they used it. It worked in World War II. But they also picked up things like rain, and they, that's getting in the way. We can't say, and then somebody said, hey, let's use it to find weather. Boom. Now we have radar. We have Doppler radar. Not only can find storms, but Doppler radar, using the Doppler shift, can find raindrops and wind moving in different directions, approaching the radar, moving away from the radar. If you've got some approaching on the radar screen and some moving away, you might have a little circulation. It finds tornadoes and thunderstorms. This is what radar looks like with the green and the yellow and the red when it gets intense. Now, the radar screen is not going to look active here by Sunday. High pressure and control over the eastern two-thirds of the country. But the next storm will be developing here in the west. High mountain snows Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then the storm moves out into the middle of the country. And we're going to have ourselves a little mid-March madness, meteorologically speaking. Our visible satellite picture showing you at least on Friday where the active weather was, mainly snow from North Dakota, Minnesota, back down through the Great Lakes, giving rise to a storm for the mid-Atlantic states, some rain and snow, no nor'easter, no blizzard this time. But the big story is what happens when the storm in the west gets cranking and the gulf opens up for business, moist air streaming northward. Then by middle and late part of the week, it's going to be continued chilly. Chicago, Indianapolis, New York City, temperatures running below average. Even down into the south, Raleigh, Atlanta, back toward Memphis. Daytime high temperatures in the low 60s there. But look how chilly here. New York City, about 40. That's about 10 or 12 degrees below average. And forget about it up here in the northern plains, while the south and the west remain on the mild side, the deep south. And speaking of the uh, deep south, about a little trip to the Caribbean, huh? And we thank Olav Andre G. from the Caribbean Weather Center for his cooperation with this. We'll be working with him. Beautiful satellite image showing you cold fronts. You see these clouds here? A couple of stripes of them. A couple of cold fronts. Cooler and drier north of that in Florida, back around the Gulf, Gulf Coast. But for the southern and eastern part of the Caribbean, where there are scenes like that, Temperatures in the 80s, how sweet. Santo Domingo, the Dominican Republic. Shout out to Miss Zilberstein's class there, who I talked to by Skype the other day. All the way down to the Windward Islands and Trinidad, Tobago, and Venezuela and Colombia coast. A little cooler back toward Merida and Cancun. There you have it. Weather words, the forecast, and Caribbean weather right here on Network Weather. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you later.